Hi, YouTube. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the next episode of the ReZero Analysis. So fucking excited to be here. Otherwise known as your favorite reactor's favorite reactor, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise known as if your reactor likes really likes really really good analysis they're probably a friend of the channel already got games kaka tv you fucking name it they've already probably been here and more it's great it's your favorite reactor's favorite reactor and we're here to go in deep ladies and gentlemen that's what this channel is about ladies and gentlemen grab a drink grab a snack it's gonna be a long one i'm pretty sure you guys already know that and it's not long because for the sake of being long it's long because there's a lot of things to analyze and people often forget that hey even though it might sound like yapping to you, there's actual stories and there's actual elements for people to go ahead and, and take in. With that being said, thank you so much for joining us and let's get ready to go straight into it. There we go. No subs? Scuffed. それ<笑><笑> The way he says that is as though th this is pretty common. The the way he's the wider, wider subs. The way he said that, right? The way he delivered that is as though it's pretty common for him to just go around and be like, oh yeah, I'm not patient enough to have a pile. Like he's humble. But but even past that, right? Looking at the way that he's even interacting with Subaru is wild. Like absolutely fucking wild right the unintended consequences and 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 even the vice versa situation of this subaru being the one that's uh, taking care of a kid holding on to him right having his own aspect of doing things of, of taking care of them meanwhile of course the archbishop's always going after emilia in some way shape or form that's interesting <laughs> ボクサー最初に名乗ったよね。それが相手と歩み寄る最初の一歩だからさ。Oh, he said it. He said it. It's a violation of someone's rights. He's saying it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> not saying my name is a violation of someone's right oh no oh no oh no <laughs> that's so rough his rights the the main regard though and here's something that i did want to go ahead and and, and touch on though is i can't believe Subaru would do that but second off when it comes to a scenario like this number one what would you guys do if you guys were, were met face to face with someone like this number two Seeing as though the archbishops are playing a major role in the overall story, in grow, grow yeah, 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 in the overall story, and in, in how things are being shaped out to be, in personal development for all of these characters, for someone that yaps this much, I, I'm sort of surprised that like there's not a bigger target because that, that's the thing about yappers, right? It, it, including myself as a yap god you say one thing and you can literally drown on your own words right the next day because people will try and come after you for the like what you said for what you're trying to go to for who you pissed off for how you the, the sin archbishop of twitter a hundred percent i can't that's a narcissist so th that's the number one regard is like as a yapper, I'm extremely surprised that he's an individual that has gotten away for yapping so much and for not drowning on his own words or not being caught up, like not catching fire for his own words is what it says, right? Anyway. そう、それでいいんだよ。相手を尊重することで自らもまた尊重される。当たり前の配慮が住みよい世界を作るんだ。そう。<笑> 
So the, the, um, the Sin Archbishops don't even have to work together then, right? Like they can literally just be going up against all like one another at all times. So in comes in the question, right? And I guess I'm going to have a couple, a couple different question questions here. Are all things created with the, the witch's powers evil? Are all things created by Pandora evil? Are all mob beasts evil? That's where my mind skirt's going into, right? Subaru's power isn't evil, but would you guys say Subaru's power is abnormal, right? And i.e. there's a trend in any world where anything abnormal gets automatically put into like a black or white type of thinking of good and evil, right? Good if you use it for good, evil if you use it for evil, that's a sort that sort of thing, right? Um, and unfortunately, that's just the way it is, i.e. take gifted people for, for a purpose, right? Or uh, individuals that might be whatnot, they'll, they'll classify as, oh, you're an abnormal kid, therefore, are you, you, we have to make sure that you use your power for good, right? I wonder if FBI will miss this, this stream. Uh, he's probably in here somewhere. There is no good or evil. It's the intent, in my opinion. But Cammy, that's the thing, though, is in your classification, right? However, in society, in historical terms, individuals that have been abnormal, right? Um, well, well, we, well, we won't even go that far. Is like individuals that stuck out away from society. What has happened to individuals like that? Often get bullied. Often they get into a determination of like, oh, the learner, like the loner, or hey, we'll go ahead and exploit this abnormality, right? Hence why we have like freak shows and like, you know, oh, here comes, you know, the bearded whatever, right? And it's just, it's like, ooh, okay. As a society, how are we labeling things? The whales, the rabbit, but even past that, right? Because I, I guess that's a, he was just a society label, right? So comes in my, my question. Was Satella actually evil? And this comes in from seeing how people are reacting because there's a there's layers of things that are coming through. Was Satella actually evil? Or is that a misrepresentation of a narrative that's being sent? 400 years have passed. You know, that's number one. Number two, are the Sin Archbishops, do they come from Satella? Or do they come from Pandora? Just quick reminder on this. Do most of the Sin Archbishops come directly from Satella? Or do they come from Pandora? Yeah, because Regulus appeared with Pandora, you know, in there. Pandora with um, with petal geese, right? Are they getting the witch's love directly? Or are they getting it through a filtered medium of what might be a distorted truth? It's all interesting stuff, right? It, it's all interesting stuff. It's like, for example, Subaru might be getting it directly from the witch, right? I.e., the scent is stronger, i.e. he has that fucking, you know, that that fucking mogging face, Giga Chad, the super scent that the that, that Satella was just like, let me give you everything, let me give you my love, let me give you, you know, so on and so forth. So he's walking through smelling like a fucking champ, you know. <laughs> he's, he's walking through with the witch's smell at 100%. Well, everyone else is walking through with the distorted version as to what that love might be. Satella is his simp. <laughs> Do you think that Regulus became the Yap Bishop because Echidna didn't love him enough? I can see that happening. The witch ignored Betelgeuse. I don't know if that's just because he's crazy or if it turns out that his face, face, uh, his face is based on distorted information, right? Because Pandora's powers can't rewrite reality and decide whether or not to keep memories. Mm -hmm. What makes a, a bishop anyway? Could, could Subaru actually be one himself? Well, I mean, here comes in the question. Would you guys consider Subaru to be prideful? We're, we're going to start off there. We're going in deep, and this is what's going to classify a lot of what's in there, right? Definitely, yes. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Does he relapse into pride, even though he's working on it, right? Into symptoms of being prideful. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Somewhat, most likely. Here's the thing. Subaru is a work in progress, right? And Subaru is continuously trying to grow out of this prideful state that he uses as a mask, right? <clears throat> that he uses as a mask. Uh, each arc of him is overcoming sin and, and tackling the virtue. Yeah, yeah. I think he was just giving a title by a higher up. Mm hmm <clears throat> He's given up, but he grows from each experience. And that's the main thing is, 
he's growing. However, do we find Subaru sometimes hiding behind the mask of, hey, <laughs> you know, I, I, I could do this. Oh, no, this is, you know, I will, I will be the one that, attack. of course, everyone does that. Everyone falls into this, this chain of pattern, right? He might still have low self-esteem, but if you're able to hide behind a mask, it's a little bit better. It's better. It's that hero mask, right? Super interesting. We're backing it up just a little bit. We're one minute in, but this discussion is already starting to go into a realm where it's making me wonder. And I don't know if it's making you wonder. A couple of things. Number one. Subaru's role in this story, was it decided by... Who was it decided by? That's the first question. Number two, we have... We'll probably have a great face-off. It's a multifaceted war, right? It's a multifaceted war, per se. On one side, I'm going to classify this as Pandora. On the other side, I'm going to classify this as Echidna. Because I'm sure that Echidna is going to come back to be some sort of like end game event, right? Uh, on this side, I'm going to actually classify this as the Satala slash the Pass. And on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and classify this as uh, Emilia or the Future. And we have Subaru right in the middle. So we have Subaru, the immortal pawn, for some reason already in the middle. So comes in my question, if we have this game... That's happening. We have Satella on one side, Pandora on the other, Emilia on the other, and Echidna on the other. And they're all playing sh like, you know, what is it? Like Shadow of War or something. And Subaru's right in the middle of all these different candidates. Say this is Pandora's using greed, lust, uh, you know, sloth. They're using all the, uh, the archbishops in here. They're playing chess. And Subaru is right in the middle and he's the immortal pawn. He's already aligned himself with Emilia. But do you think uh, there could be more 5D players? There could be. There absolutely could be. But at the moment, I would classify it as a four-way war. So overall, would you guys agree with this theory? That's the first thing I have in mind is Subaru's caught in the middle. Yes, he's fighting for Emilia, but at the same time, he might have to come through and save uh, Satala in that regard, right? Yes, he is He is fighting the Sin Archbishops, but at the same time, if Echidna comes through, he might have to come through and fight Echidna as well. He's right in the fucking middle uh, in, in that regard where he has to align himself wherever he can to best fit in. So in comes in my next question. History repeats itself. or, or History rhymes, but it may not repeat itself. Is this the beginning, the end, and is the end the beginning? Is... This beginning with Satala, the end with Emilia, and the end of the Emilia, the beginning with Satala. Anyway, <laughs> that's just something to chew on, something to ask on, something to process, something to feel. さすがに灰の塊を花嫁にするほど我慢強くはないしね。お前は、あのさ、君礼儀ってものが分かってないんじゃないの僕さ、最初に名乗ったよね。それが相手と歩み寄る最初の一歩だからさ、あえて先に名
We have social, individual, and nonverbal communication. I.e., whenever you're talking with someone, there's social context that comes into play in your communication that may override. If you're going in with selfish desires to try and communicate, the social context may override that selfish desire due to the social boundaries that are being pressed in there, right? This comes in with the social unconscious values. Social unconscious values will definitely push up. Hence why a lot of people feel afraid to be loud in public because of the social unconscious values that we actually present in there, right? I.e. society presses something on us to shut the fuck up when we're out in public, not embarrass ourselves, be afraid of being loud, be afraid of showcasing certain emotions or doing whatnot. Hence why sometimes people break up in public so that, that way people don't cannot be super loud or process their emotions or so on and so forth, right? There are social concepts context social values that come into play with communication number two individual based communication comes in with an aspect of understanding one another if you're not attempting to communicate with the other person regulus to trying to understand where they're coming from then are you communicating or are you just yapping because at that point in time i just think that you're talking at them you're not talking with them You're talking at them, you're not talking, you're not talking with them, right? Right, and then comes in like understanding, so the, the medium. So what medium is presented in between one another to be able to go ahead and, and find that middle ground, right? Because if I'm, if I'm coming with the aspect of, oh, I'm already up here and you're fucking trash, am I gonna find a healthy form of communication or or am I going to talk down to you? If, I, if I'm already up here and I believe my... This is why I hate... This is why I fucking hate... And y'all can... Like... People that come on and they're already in lab coats and shit. And it's like scientists reacts to... Or uh, like, you know, psychologists or therapists that come on and they're like over the top with suits and shit. And it's like, is that really how you treat your patients? I meet my patients where they're at. I will dress the way that my patients are dressed in that area. So that way, it's not like I'm talking down to them, right? Imagine going, imagine being homeless, coming out of a situation of being homeless, and then like literally meeting up with someone who it has a $5,000 watch, uh, like, you know, $10,000 suit, is sitting down, not like not really paying attention to you, has their computer out, is taking notes while you're talking to them about being homeless and whatnot. And they're like, oh yeah, well, you need to do this. How would that make you feel? How would that make you feel? That would feel as though they're talking down to you, right? That's the main regard is you got to meet your patients where they're at. And you, you got to you gotta empathize, right? And, and that's not even like with patients. That's just overall. You got to meet people where they're at, Regulus. Number three, you got to understand yourself. And I know this might seem like a big yap train here, but here's the thing. Regulus is really greedful. Regulus thinks that he understands, like he can understand everyone. He gets mad and it's a violation of his rights. But yet he does not, he's, even though he yaps a lot, he does not communicate. Even though he yaps a lot, he is not communicating appropriately. Even though he talks and he can fucking yap a monologue for fucking hundreds of pages if need be, he is not understanding of self and of, of partner, right? So in that saying is understanding where your partner's at in this communication. Is your partner feeling bored in the communication? Is the communication starting to die down? Is it time for you to step away? And he's not asking the appropriate questions, right? I.e., even yapping with communicating, it's not just all about yourself. It's also about your partner, the individual that's there. It feels more like a lecture than a conversation. 100%. Last but not least, the nonverbal cues. We have eyes, body movement. Uh, we also have literal hands, gestures. We have 101 different regards that we can go into body movement that we have to understand for appropriate and good communication. So when I hear you, <clears throat> when I hear you say it's a violation of your rights as an unselfish person, I'm going to say you just violated the Ten Commandments of communication. You violated my rights as someone that's communicating with you or trying to communicate with you. That's what I would say. Regulars can't communicate. 
Regulus can't communicate. Regulus can yap, but can he communicate? <laughs> oh no. Anyway. And this is a shortened down version, by the way. Because th there is like one with like a giant bar graphics, uh, it, like expanded and whatnot. Um, but this is just a really, really shortened down version of what it means to communicate or communication styles and how society, uh, yourself, and the nonverbal cues affect overall communication. So Regulus can't communicate. Be on the lookout for that new anime coming soon, uh, winter 2025. Anyway. Oh, oh. So, so <laughs> why do I feel like Regulus could kill her in an instant? Uh, why do I feel like Regulus could probably kill Sirius in an instant and be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, <laughs> anyway, all right, opening, ladies and gentlemen, we're 30 minutes in. Here we go, opening. Let's go. So I guess my question to you is this, right? We have Subaru, Emilia, Beko in here automatically. We also have Otto and Garfield. How much are Otto and Garfield going to grow from this experience? How much are, are, are like, because right now the main focus sh will and shall always be, you know, Subaru and Emilia's story. But we also have these side characters as well. So how much are they going to grow from this story, from this interaction, from this you know, this experience that they might go through. Also, wanted to point out, somebody said that my color theory psychology wheel was pretty good. I don't, I don't know if you're, if you're in, 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 in here right now, but if you are, dude, Thank you. I hope I hope that you guys enjoyed it. There was a person just analyzed. I, I didn't go in deep into it because my mods were like spoilers. But they were just like, hey, the color theory was pretty good. If you guys thought that we'd go through this without stopping, you're sorely mistaken. Welcome to a psychiatrist canon event all the time. Why is this city here to begin with? Like, I, I understand it's a trap, but is it really? Is, but that is so a target. So if we were to go ahead and flood this city, I, I think what's interesting is like the, the cardinal directions or the directions that come from it, right? Is you enter either way and instead of it being a straight road in, it's just a water road, like water roads in, right? You have to take the side little uh, streets to be able to walk all the way through it.
Who are we going to lose? My fear is just fucking skyrocketing off of this. Who are we going to lose? Putting that color theorem together, along with like the expectations of what we know of the characters and stuff, who are we going to lose, chat? The color theorem suggests that anything with blue is already revolving around guilt, right? And then uh, green is like complicated emotions and feelings of like not fully understanding self and whatnot. Aside from Subaru, because Subaru can return by death at any moment. But who are we actually going to lose and how is that going to change this dynamic? That is a main thing, especially when looking at Anastasia's colors. Because blue was one of the, the, the big colors that we brought up in the color psychology wheel last stream. Uh, and, and we touched on it. And one of the main representations of that was grief, right? One, one of the, uh, if you like color theory, you should re watch Breaking Bad. Uh, and, and it's not blaming Anastasia. Some people think I'm picking on her. But in reality, I feel like there, there's significantly more shit coming this way, right? Who do you think would have the most impact if we lost him at, out of curiosity? I mean, we can't lose Reinhardt because he has the fucking, the, uh, what is it? The blessings of literally everything. Like, we're not going to lose Reinhardt. We're probably not going to lose Subaru. If we lose Emilia, the world will end. Um, so we have a couple individuals that we know we can't lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have other individuals that we can lose. Wilhelm, Julius, um, the thugs from the first episode. Um, we can literally lose Garfield. Uh, we can lose the mercenary group. We can, like, there are people out there that we can lose and use them as character growth moments. Not the thugs. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Cammy, you should cosplay Amelia. <laughs> So who are all these girls behind Regulus? His wives, his friends, wives. I'm jealous, maybe. Waifus, wives. Do you guys think that he lays down good pipe or no? Sorry, I gotta ask. <laughs> or, is he, or is he just greedy for himself? Like, <laughs> is he the type of individual that it's only him and that's it? He's like, I'm done. <laughs> what, what do you care? It's only about his needs. Yeah, I just gotta ask, you know, not, not really. No, because it would violate his... Uh, can't a answer actual spoilers. What the fuck? Actual spoilers. Oh, no. Is he a two pump chump or a one pump chump? It don't really matter. I mean, it is you do you, right? Because everyone has different tolerance levels. But I'm just really curious. Like, if he is greedy, is that only for his selfish, like, direct needs? Or he's like, it's only about me? Or, or is he the type to be like, uh, oh, I'm going to be in the commander's chair and I'm going to dictate what's happening. And I'm going to go ahead and, like, you know, like, uh, Enormita gushing over magical girl style, um, you know. He has tons of wives, bros compensating for something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Garfield has been a fucking champ, brother. Y'all can't fucking tell me that this is not fucking hype, bro.
Y'all can't tell me that this ain't fucking art, brother. Y'all can't tell me that this ain't fucking art. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be a fire season, ladies and gentlemen. My God, Priscilla. Yeah, Priscilla is wonderful. Priscilla, Priscilla is a ten out of ten. I don't even care. Y'all can come after me. I, you know what? I love Crush. I love Emilia. But Priscilla, it, it's just slightly ahead. Redhead, you know, a red hair, uh, that fiery personality uh, can get stuck. Uh, you know, yeah, it, it is what it is, you know. Her hair is orange. Even better. Even better. Orange, yellow hair, strawberry blonde. <laughs> you have trouble. Shh, shh. Blonde hair, red outfit. It works. The way that she busts out these dragons. Or these dragons, these lions. What the fuck? <laughs> the margaritas are still hitting from last night. <laughs> these dragons. <laughs> these lions, brother. <laughs> and dragons. I'm fucking dying, dude. Ed said it was a dragon. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, the way that she busts out these lions, right, makes me wonder. Because because these would be considered like mob beast, right? Like anything in this regard would be considered a mob beast. Can people turn into mob beasts like this? Like... If she could, like, layer out these things, couldn't she turn into, like, a dragon or something? Or, like, a giant, like, snake? Or is she like a chimera? Right. Right. Looking at the way that she's just able to go and exemplify this, and even after the lion come in the snake. Not a horn, not a mob beast. Or into a beast animal itself, right? Uh, I'd say more of a corrupted idea. Sure. Because that's sort of where it's coming in, in for me, which is, can these, or t turn into beast in general, right? Like, would she be able to go ahead and turn into, for example, this giant snake or anaconda or a giant fucking bird or, I don't know, f fucking, I have a bunch of rattlesnakes here in the desert, uh, scorpions, you fucking name them, uh, little, little fucking toad hoppers, uh, fireflies like would they be able to turn themselves into different beasts a giant rabbit a giant snake <laughs> it's a jackal uh th that's the main regard though is clearly there, there's an identification of a theme that's happening we're I, I guess controlling beast is at her disposal so how would that go? Let's go. やっぱりパームベームにすれば良かったですかね。切り方。ソワリエが好きだといいんですけど。子供配置感。ここは遊び場じゃないぞ。んああ、ノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノー
いいねいいよいいさいいと思う遊び場じゃないのは承知の上さだってここはこれから僕たちの調理場になるんだから何お,おじさん前菜にもならなそうだけどまあしょうがないかいただきだはあらあとあだ前菜にもならなさそうなのがもう Run good soup <笑> <laughs> Run! 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 So, if there's two archbishops of greed, of greed, of gluttony, then what powers do, do they actually have? Like, is it split between one and the other? Or is it, hmm, hmm, hmm. Amy? Ah, no, sir. God damn, bro! God! A man just breathed it away. You know who I would love to see him fight? I would love to see Regulus versus Reinhardt because I feel like that would make a good match. Uh, throw in their fucking Subaru too and Emilia while we're at it, make it a revenge tour. Uh, uh, and, and, and throw in maybe Wilhelm as well. Oh, oh, oh. That that would, that would, uh, the battle of nothing happening. The battle of yaps, right? The battle of yaps. What do you think his powers are? Uh, I think his powers are more than likely an ability to stop time. Just And this was based on the previous episode analysis that we had. Uh, more than likely, he has the ability to stop time or and or slow time enough so that whatever he does or whatever that like he might do in that thing is amplified. So while Sirius has an AOE effect of power, right? He has more of an internal based power that can go ahead and amplify whatnot. So imagine this, right? Um, also, that's really fucking creepy, Sirius. L looking at all the people in the background, that's really fucking, that's extremely fucking creepy. My God. Ah, you mean what you said in the OP last episode? Yep, 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 yep. Like slowing time, time is his perception, time perception? Probably, but at the same time, anything he does would be amplified because of that time stop, right? So it's completely selfish, sounds in character. Right, 100%, 100%. Because it's, it's, it's your right, it's your dignity, right? <laughs> it's your pride, right? right? <laughs> <笑>君の頭がおかしいのは知ってるし多少のことなら多めに見てやれなくもないだけどさ愛する人を傷つけられたら怒るのは当然だそれは誰もが持つ当然の権利でだから僕が持っていて当たり前の復讐の権利<
Get your hands off my Amelia right now. I'll, I'll off your Amelia. Oh, oh. Bro won't even get past the first phase of the boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Indiana Jones it. But that's that's funny because whips like whips can sting, right? And like especially if, if you're cl closer to the other end there. Oof, oof. By the way, these subs were given to us thanks to FBI and whoever his team that he works with is. He like from my understanding, apparently Crunchyroll fucked up the subs. I don't know where or how um, because these are fixed subs, so I don't know where. Woo! Why would you say what that spell is? Subaru, haven't you learned? Haven't you learned? Subaru, Subaru, haven't you learned to not say, like, say out. Your, your <laughs> well, what, what your attack is, right? He doesn't in the light novel as a narrator, but they had to keep the info. And it's in the rules. It's in the rules. <laughs> Bro, it would be a violation of rights not to say how the attack works. No, no, 100%. Uh, it's for the audience, but that's really, really nice. Separates them from the world by half a step. Well, I mean, all he has to do is go ahead and correct for that half step measure, right? Oh shit! Can you guys tell me why that sounded like a happy surprise? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me why that sounded like a... <laughs> Her brain, her whole body trembled, guys. Her whole body just fucking trembled. What the fuck? All right, we're backing it up. Also, really nice move pattern that he has going on here. That's actually pretty fucking sick. And seeing it already enabled inside of his own stomach, right? Where he's allowing this to go out and expand. And we're seeing Subaru really become creative, right? He hasn't spent time fucking lacking. He's been working his ass off. And it's fucking clear, man. Subaru, Subaru has been working his ass off in terms of creating new spells, uh, attacks, counterattacks. Might this be futile for a little bit? Might be. But has he been in the workshop working it out? 100%. But also landing that good hit in, that's insane. That is fucking insane. Subaru, I do gotta say though, in a situation like this, Subaru, yes, you landed a good shot in, but you're probably not going to be invited to this wedding. <laughs> like, you you better fucking run, dude. It run is great advice. But Emilia, though, you you got to regroup and come back at it. Did he even he land it? True. True. But, and that's sort of what I'm saying. It's like, we clearly see my man avoiding all the fire and whatnot. Something that Subaru, uh, you know looking at was already seeing to be a little helpless. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, you shouldn't need anyone to teach you to be nice to girls. My my man just avoided it. He was like, hey, you know what? Whatever, man. <laughs> wow. Subaru, that's uh <laughs> The anger is fucking real. <laughs> Subaru, the anger is fucking real. Emilia Tan is your bride? She's she's your wife? Huh? Is that what you're saying, Subaru? Hey, Emilia's my wife. Hmm, you know? 
Subaru isn't into NTR. Thank you, FBI, for the subs. He's standing on business. Sure. But I think in a regard like that, like... Uh, uh, oh, he said waifu? Is, is that what the, what the bad subs would say? Oof. Oof. Emilia Tan is my wife. <laughs> okay. That must have been on purpose. No fucking way it wasn't. That must have been on purpose then. Like, they probably did that to Clip Farm. If that was Crunchyroll, they probably did that to, to, to Clip Farm. No fucking way, dude. And then I can imagine them just cutting it out of context and then throwing it out and being like, oh, Subaru is saying, like, Emilia's his waifu or something, right? It was Clip Farm. It was for the... They did that? Oh, 100%. 100%. They made a clip for you. Yeah, then 100% that must have been, like, fucking click, click farm, click bait. Uh, get get a bunch of views. Quick translation error. E even though, you know, usually translations have to be decent, semi-decent for the population that you're trying to go to. Wow. Wow. Okay, I, gu I guess we have weird... <laughs> He didn't even know her name and he was already stealing her. He didn't even know her name and she was, he was already making her his bride. <laughs> he didn't even know her name. But Subaru should have just said Satella at that point. Satella is my... <laughs> 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 Could you imagine his fucking face at that point? Like, what? Oh, God. <laughs> at least he didn't need her for any plot-related reasons. That would have been so good. That would have been fucking so good if he would have just, like, uh, you know, shouted out, oh, yeah, no, Satella's going to be my bride in that situation because all of a sudden, he has to go ahead and, and, and take it in. He has to, yeah, could marry both of them. Problem solved. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, Regulus, we need to talk a little bit about chemistry and consent. And consent. Um, you, you know, forcing your love on someone without consent is not okay. Please. Please. Uh, and Ed is set off, please. You know, um, there's more to people than just a pretty face. You have to see if you connect with them emotionally, psychologically, maybe even sexually as well, if there's chemistry. There's a lot of things that go into work. Uh, for example, how many of you guys think that... Uh, Regulus also needs to set aside his personal matters and not be selfish. Um... I'm going to ask this. I'm going to ask this. I'm going to ask this. Kind of sounds like you're violating his rights to choose his wife. Hold on. Poll. Regulus. How many of you guys think that Regulus would allow the use of toys in bed? I think that he would consider them a threat and a violation of his rights. So I, 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 I at this point don't think that he would even be fun. He would probably be extremely selfish when it comes to a, a situation like that. Huh. Yeah, because all of a sudden you start to take in like, what does he really care about individuals or about, oh, he would despise them. Right, right. He would not allow his wife near his bedroom or something like that, right? Bro would get jump scared by... <laughs> Who gave you the right to play without me? Oh, God. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like No is winning by 91% of the vote here. He absolutely would not. Oh, here we go. That, that should probably give you guys a little bit more. <clears throat> Apparently isn't against... 
So th that's the main regard is whenever we're looking at an individual like this, there's a lot of concerns that are highlighted for me. And, and I'm going to ask this, and this is a very serious question. Do you guys know anyone who actually related to Regulus the most? Or really thought like, hey, Regulus is fucking based. I'm going to base my entire internet persona around Regulus. Anyone? Well, yes, they were a dumbass. Kaka, no way. No way. I think he's fun. Because all of a sudden, the, the, like individuals who base themselves off of a personality like this end up having a lot of issues because they're basing a lot of their individual traits not on, like, you know, we can go ahead and say st st stable troops, right? Or being able to go to mix in, like, society, individual bases, concerns for others, but more on, like, how they can go ahead and, like, I hate to put it this way, farm attention, right? A lot of individuals that I've met who extremely base themselves off of Regulus, they're constantly in, like, drama farms, right? Or some type of farm where they're, like, the, the, the attention needs to be centered around them in order for the story to progress. Don't get me wrong, as content creators and as people, life will sometimes revolve around our own narrative. But at times, individuals who are so regular based uh, or it, individuals who might have uh, aspects of narcissism like this, uh, which is what regulus is, right, would automatically start going into like engagement farming IRL, i.e., oh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and blow up this one situation into a, yeah, the egoism and self centeredness and all of that into a thousand and one things from there. And like, it's like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take this as personal attacks when it might not be a personal attack or a hundred and one things, right? Uh, and that's the main regard is we gotta, we, we gotta be able to go ahead and understand the unhealthy mindset that this can cause in individuals who completely base themselves off of any of the, uh, archbishops that we see in here like for example if i were to base myself off of regulus right can i yap i can yap a thousand and one things however do we all have aspects of self-centeredness 100 percent, right don't get don't get me wrong we all have an aspect of self-centeredness at times of selfishness at times but if we try and base it to the exact same level that like regulus is presented or even getting close to it there's an issue and there's a fundamental issue presented a lot no no i if people want to change, they have the ability to change it. That's a big aspect in therapy, right? But even past that, we just got to be careful to not allow narcissism to take center root and become a, a pivotal aspect of certain things. Whether like whether that's a trolling, engagement farm, um, literally coming through and trying to go ahead and make people feel bad, or a thousand and one things, because then that can solidify. And again, toxic mentality equals toxic mentality, and negativity will equal negativity. Um, yeah, so you, so you got you, you just got to be careful in scenarios like this to demand respecting of your rights. It's only natural, uh, but that's the main regard. Is Regulus is an interesting character? He really, really is. あの俺がこの世で一番優しくした相手がその子だぞ。俺がこの世で一番優しくした相手がその子だぞ。花嫁、花嫁って何のつもりだ言ったろ愛なんてそれが全てでしょ。お前死んだ方がいいかしら。お前死んだ方がいいかしら。お前死んだ方がいいかしら。お前死んだ方がいいかしら。お前死んだ方がいいかしら。お前死んだ方がいいかしら。お
no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and she's fu- I fucking love her. Oh my god. Oh my god. It really is you. <laughs> when you see your ex and everyone that you're dating, but that's just because you keep dating the same toxic person. <laughs> the same po- toxic person type. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're just like my ex. I wonder why. Mm, I keep dating the same fucking toxic personality type over and over again. Um, I, I wonder why. <laughs> Subaru, Subaru's look like, oh, what the fuck? You, you might be wondering how we got to this point. Well, you see, it all began when I killed Petal Geese. <laughs> I see his face everywhere. Right. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. That's wild. That is wild. Red flags everywhere, but my favorite color is red. <laughs> oh, Subaru can't catch a break. No, no, he can't. Because on one hand, what is this love triangle, right? On one hand, we have Subaru trying to save Emilia because that's his waifu. And clearly Sirius now really coming after Subaru because Petal Geese is her husband, and there's a piece of, you know, Petal Geese is inside Subaru at the moment, or I guess the, the, the fucking factor or whatever. A, 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 A. It's more like five angles here. It's crimson. Reminder that Petal Geese can't, can body hop, so it's not even wild for her to think this. Actually, true. Actually, true, Magiwara. Wonderful, wonderful observation. Yeah, because Petal Geese could, could body hop, so it's one of those situations where. That could definitely happen, right? Oh, overall, though, I, I guess I'm going to ask this, right? Because I love ReZero. And I think it's evident in the discussions that I have with it. I'm going to throw this out there. And I, I, I might catch some flame for this. I, I might catch some fucking flame for this. Are you guys ready? And you guys you guys might, you guys can, can say if it's a trash take or not. I don't care. I don't care if I catch a stray on this. That, that's fine. I think that there's a lot of reactors and people in the com- ugh, people new to the community that will say they like ReZero but only while it's popular I think there's a lot of people in there that like you know even reaction based that they're not even fully understanding the story they're just there because it brings in numbers or views and I, I feel like individuals like this like especially yeah and, and especially the more that, that we start to go ahead and see it. Because, for example, Kaka actually has discussions on it. On it. Like, Kaka TV, wonderful fucking reactor content creator, friend of the channel, has discussions. Siabu has discussions. Autosave has discussions. The uh, Semblance of Sanity Brothers have discussions on the anime that they see. Uh, when Brady was doing reactions, he had discussions on the anime that he was seeing, right? I, well, I'm a fucking yap god. Of course I'm going to have discussions. <clears throat> but there are a lot of people out there who, like, even though the show is presenting some deep themes on them, they'll just skip right through them, right? Like, oh, yeah, no, whatever. Wow. Wow. Let me reiterate what just happened the past five seconds. And it's like, no, let's think a little bit more critically, right? And then, like, uh, two seasons down the road, they're like, yeah, you know what? That show was pretty bad. Or, like, they'll go on, like, a weird thing, right? <clears throat> And it's like, okay, so were you even like watching a show to understand it? Or were you just watching a show to try and make money and profit off of it? For If you guys are wondering, by the way, all my ReZero reactions so far have been unmonetized. Like, especially the season three ones, right? The season three ones have been unmonetized. So people try and say, oh, he makes the videos long because he's, he's uh, gaining money from it. No, they're unmonetized. Hold on. I'll even put my money where my mouth is real quick. Hold on. Because I don't care about that. The whole purpose is to actually love a show that you're watching, understanding it, and using it as a way to talk about the psychology behind shit, right? Like that psychoeducational aspect. Careful, Ed. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. You guys ready for this? Three, two, one. What does it say? Monetization. Not monetized. Not monetized. Not monetized. There's some that are, right? 
This is like the the very the one that we did earlier, but that's because it doesn't have any ReZero uh, like music and stuff involved in it. But if you look at it, the past even Oshinoko are unmonetized bits. That's the main regard. I don't really care about the monetization aspect, especially on YouTube or any of that, because the main purpose of this is the psychoeducational content of it. So I have the ability to showcase that and not really care, right? Because of that semblance, because of that aspect of, hey, I'm doing this because I really love what I'm doing. Can other reactors say the same? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, now compare that to 10 minutes of some YouTubers, right? A few, a few, a few, I would believe, right? But you're just doing it for the money or for the, yeah, yeah. Except that it's ineligible and we're, we're making sure that it's, that it's ineligible in that regard, right? Even though we do way more than enough to make it transformative. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I'm a full-time, I'm a partnered streamer, Just East. That's not really a good excuse because I'm a, I'm a partnered streamer. So that means that even though streaming might seem like a hobby, it's also my career in that aspect because I'm representing Twitch in a lot of cons and events and, you know, content creation in that regard. Not a cool ranch Doritos uh, for put, doing it for money. People need money, but don't fake. And that's the main thing, Hulk Q, is like, don't fake it. Uh, right and don't say that you love a series when you actually don't like it like actually i hate watching react and have nothing to say as soon as the episode ends right do you think a general thing that happens when people view all the potential passion as an avenue for career rather than it's fun and it turns into a career yeah 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 um there, there are a lot of people out there who and 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 again i might catch a fucking stray for this that's fine who start off with the right intentions of wanting to go ahead and talk and discuss an anime, but then pressure starts getting to them. And so what it ends up being is it ends up being this, like, how do you grow your channel if it's not by over-the-top reactions that, like, you can edit in? Hence why I love people that do their reactions live. I love Kaka TV. And here's why. He's able to do his reactions live. A lot of people say, oh, YouTube reactions are genuine. Sure. After their 50th edit, you we have no way of knowing whether or not it was continuous or not, you know, as opposed to people that actually are able to go ahead and do it live, right? Autosave, incredible individuals, their content, their ability to discuss, amazing. Uh, sauce, fi like, you know, someone's of sanity, incredible individuals, their discussions make it worthy, right? And that's the main regard is when we're looking at a situation like this, what are you in it for? Like, what drives you to go ahead and create and discuss shows? And what do you love about what you're doing? And that's that's the key thing there. Anyway, I can go, yeah, I can, I can go on endlessly about, like, discussions, about, like, or the reaction sphere and how oversaturated it's getting and a thousand and one things. Uh, but with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's fucking go. Apologies. That one was a rant. That was, was, was a tangent. But it's just something that I hate seeing which it happened with Moshiko Tensei. It happened with Three Zero Season Two. It happens with a lot of, like, with a, with a lot of things beforehand. Which is a lot of creators come from like the deep necks of the woods, trying to solidify themselves as like, oh, I've I've always loved this series. I've always whatnot. And then you look into their like their tweets and whatnot, and it's nothing but them shitting on ReZero, or it's nothing but them literally riding hype trains and then completely disregarding the entire show and not taking anything that the show is giving them for like seriously. And then just fucking dropping it. Like, it, it's like they have a two-second memory recollection. What is the gospel? Who's Otto? What's the... Oh, what was Subaru's power? Who's Bayoko? Oh, um, what's this? And it's like, did you not... Are, are we not watching the same fucking show? Sorry. Anyway, let's go back. We're backing it up. Let's go to Subaru's punch. And this is why I backed it up, chat. All right, let's go. Now, 
れ以上俺のエミリアに気安く触ってんじゃねえシャマク That's still pretty fucking sick. そんなに死にたいわけベアコ今だ準備はいいなよ DM エマー<笑>俺とベアコの鍛錬のせいか世界から存在を半歩だけずらす完全オリジナル魔法だ No way, Oliver. No fucking way. Really? p r o v i d e n c e His third. His third leg comes out. His third hand comes out. <laughs> and, and everyone is just fucking shook for a second. <laughs> His third hand. His third hand. <laughs> まだうまく使いこなせねえあのさ花嫁が傷ついたらどうしてくれるわけ女の子に優しくなんてのは誰に教わらなくても当然のことだろ俺がこの世で一番優しくしたい相手がその子だぞ花嫁花嫁って何のつもりだ言ったろこの子は僕の妻に迎える黙れよエミリアタは俺の嫁だてめえなんぞにくれてやれるかへえエミリアっていうのか華麗なこの子にぴったりじゃないか<笑>名前も知らねえでその子の何を見て花嫁なんてザレ言顔だよ顔が可愛い愛なんてそれが全てでしょお前死んだ方がいいかしらおおどこにやった見つけた見つけた見つけた見つけた見つけたやっぱりそうごめんね気づかなくてごめんね<笑><笑> I'm sorry I didn't notice it was you but really <笑><笑> That's such a good fucking emote right there, my god. <laughs> Where is Tina? <laughs> that is such a. Yeah, the VA is god <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Regulus is like, I, 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 I this, this is, a, <laughs> this is beyond my wheelhouse. This is kind of fucking weird. Um, deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Regulus is just straight up about it. Hold on. <laughs> It's above me. <laughs> just fucking like let me let me fade out into the background. That's so good. Oh, Kata Saki no Tejna omite, son na kimochi wari mo so standaro kedo. Ay, ay, arigato do mo gomene. Ima tori komichu nan desu. Yoji ga sunda na la hayak salarete wa. Boku ni mele suru wake. <laughs> we made eye contact several times a day. Imagine if Betelgeese had a fucking like restraining order against her. And she's over here just fucking delusional that Betelgeese and her were making eye contact and that it was all love. But Betelgeese is over here like, I have a restraining order against you. Like, he's over here like just fucking pointing it out like, uh, uh. Hello? A restraining order? <laughs> Didn't expect Regulus to advocate for someone else. Same! That's actually really, really, really fucking good. Didn't expect him to actually try and, you know, advocate for somebody else. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> When I inhaled his exhaled breath, he didn't say it. I'm pretty sure he... Uh, <laughs> 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 
そろそろあの人のものを持ち出してほしくなれなかった食事の残りをすすっても許してくれたし吐いた息を吸っても何も言わなかった私に名前をくれた笑ってくれた私に私に私だけにやめろ俺のためを思うなら周りを巻き込むな<笑>あなたのお願いでもお断りしますだってやっとまたこうして会えた、oh, no. それなのにあなたはまだ耐えろ我慢しろ Oh no Oh no スーバル And you still tell me to wait and to be patient スーバル is just fucking running with it <laughs> I mean that's the only thing to do right Improv says to yes and It, it was... そうおっしゃるそんな見たこともない精霊の娘を連れてどの口で待てとヤクザお前どうせ本当の狙いはあの薄汚い銀髪のハンマーだろそんなにあれが恋しいならあなたの前で焼いてやる This voice actress is fucking killing it My god This voice actress is just fucking killing it Like The, the 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 levels of insanity right of going from hot to cold from like you know oh i love you to i have to destroy absolutely phenomenal this is a 10 out of 10 performance this is a this is a 10 out of 10 performance from her like wow wow <laughs> i wonder if he asked her for a hug would she do it Like, if Subaru was like, hey, you know what? This is. I, I got this spirit to be our child. You know, come here and give me a hug. Would she do it? Yeah, a k a n a level. <laughs> Would she fall for something like that? l e t no, no, no. Like, would she fall for something like that? I'll give you a hug. That's. Hey, I know the situation is messed up. ああ。福音書に従うこの僕に感謝するといい待てその子置いてけ考えたんだけどさ式に神父側の列席者がいないのも寂しいし横連ぼまでしてた君を招待しないってのもちょっと哀れで Fucking run bro that fucking camera shot in that camera shot in that camera shot in Subaru book it Run! That camera shot in means that. Oh! 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 <laughs> Groom、uh, it should be bride. Yeah, from the bride side. <laughs> Ouch! I'll break a leg. <laughs> It literally happens, I guess. He indeed did not dodge. Damn. Damn. I guess he really does need a third leg. <laughs> FBI is here! FBI is here! Yo, welcome on in! I'll rewind soon, I guess. Oh. That's a major fucking trauma already. Poor Subaru, because it feels like any single time, right, he has to encounter something like this. He goes through severe physical, emotional, psychological trauma. We're going to back it up here just a little bit. Wait, what? And the eyes, Subaru's eyes already like are, are maybe Sirius has already like gotten him in that way. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, 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 what a nice wedding invitation. <laughs> oh, God. And they're all walking their own different ways. That's wild. So they have to follow what the gospel says. Love it and or hate it. Chat, don't fucking clap. Chat, what, what is this clapping? Chat, what is this clapping? So they're all following the... Cabby! <laughs> Cammy, Cammy. So what are what are you doing, Emilia? <laughs> uh, but no, like they're all following right the, the gospel's ways, right? The defective copy of the gospel. Yeah. So so they're all following that like this very thought out gospel order. Okay. It's making me wonder this. Are you guys ready for this? This is this is Ed 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 on a cracked out theory. Ed on a cracked out theory. Here we go. Is the gospel written, pre written? So that the art, like every archbishop has to die in a way. As the gospel's end goal to try and either, is the gospel's end goal to do Pandora's bidding or Satella's bidding? No, it's not pre-written, it's pre-watched. Oh yeah, 100%. Is the gospel's goal to aid in Satella's goal or in Pandora's goal? I, I think in a way it would be indirect, right? FBI, like they wouldn't like, and even if they did, if they, if they were promised infinite love by whatever they're looking for, of course you're going to go for it. Do we even know who wrote the gospel? Right. Mm. Mm. Lana, thanks so much for the sub. Oh, 18 months. You're incredible. Thank you so much, Lana. I, I completely missed it. I'm sorry. Also, Kekona, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Wasn't the gospel based on Echidna's gospel? That's why when I'm looking at something like this, it's making me wonder. Even more so, like I guess even more so comes in the aspect of if it's written for Pandora, or if it comes from Pandora's side, the gospel of the archbishops, then what is the main intent for? Is it to do, undo, seal, unseal? What is the main regard to this? Take it a step further. Take it a step further. Subaru having uh, Petalgeese's factor in him. What does that mean? Why is that important? And how will this play going forward? Is there a necessity for him having this? In, not even right now. It can be storylines down. It can be like fucking arc 13, arc 15. I don't really care. What storyline or what impact is that going to have going forward considering the aspects of, of what this plays? b said something about Flugel before taking this last lock or maybe that has something to do with them. It absolutely could. It absolutely could. I think it, I think there needs to be a collection of all... Uh, and this is something I've theorized since season one. Um, there needs to be a collection of all factors, or season two, all factors for a person to be a person, right? If Subaru liked the end goal, he can take the witch factors, right? Anyway... Let's keep going. For most factors. Oh, Garf! Yesterday,帰らなかったからお嬢にきっと怒られる。悪かったな。付き合わせちまってよ。気にしてませんで。She's the best, dude. Oh my god. She's been there for him. Like, you, you know, like, hey, she's like, you know, 
my leader's gonna be mad, but that's okay. I'm here with you. Like, oh, Mimi, Mimi is goat. Mimi is goat material right there. Find yourself someone like Mimi in her life. Like, ju just the fact that she really cares about Garth and like has like been able to go ahead and be there with them. That's adorable. <laughs> お前何言ってやがんだよ。会いに行けるわけ。ごめんなさいね。お客さんが来るなんて思っていなかったから、あまり片付いてなくて。うん、気にしない。大丈夫。耳の部屋と比べたら圧倒的に。How's your room, chat? YouTube. Do you have your room clean? Está limpio? Huh? Is it nice and suitable or, or are we looking at like Asmund Gold's room? Chat, I want pictures. I want pictures of your room in general chat. Go. Drop a picture of your room right now. Go. <laughs> Is it limpio? Do, do I need to go call my mom to go to put on the Mexican music so we can go clean or what? Oh my God, no, no, no. Or is it Asmund Gold XQC style type of room prior to the maids coming through? It's like 1 a.m. I'm, I can't, I ain't turning on the light, but it's relatively clean. Clean can have, mm, I'm curious, I'm curious. Gorgeous Tiger-san, was <laughs> you Gorgeous Tiger-san. でも変ですよね。いつもならちゃんとお客様の花好みを聞くのに今日だけ自然と不思議。What the fuck happened? What happened? What happened? Like you're not even able to go ahead and like wreck it. Wow. Wow, how strange. But easy, pretty bad. I'm cleaning right now. Good, Eldest. Subconscious thoughts. Let me know when you guys are back from the ads. It should only be 30 seconds because I, I brought it down to only 30 seconds. That would hurt. Imagine your imagine like your mom saying that to you. Imagine your mom saying that to you. What would that do to you if your mom told you that? Like, wow, this is so weird. It's like I already knew that, like, you would like this. With that, mm. Mm. This one gorgeous tiger. So the memory loss is a very real thing for her in that regard. Would you recognize the son that you had not seen in 15 years and you only knew them at birth? I, I mean, in a way, you would think that maybe even just communicating with them that you would be able to go ahead and pull on, like, pull on certain threads, right? Dude, even thinking about being in guard position made me want to puke. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of fucking damage um, to take in. Absolutely. Uh, imagine a loved one just completely forgetting who you are or not even recognizing you while you completely recognize them. <sighs> also, is it me or is, or is mom's fucking genetics super strong? Like, is it me or, or is this a, like, mom's genetics are, like, super fucking strong because it's just, like, a split, split like, you know, copy-paste fucking replica. <laughs> Hella strong genetics, yeah. <laughs> コフランの荒削りってやつだろうが。言っちゃやだよ。コジャスタイガー。悪いな。それを待たせてんだ。フレド、無理に引き止めて困らせてしまったらいけないわ。お客様にはおもてなしとサワリエよっていうものね。I hope I hope he's able to be vulnerable. I hope, I hope that he's able to be vulnerable and like, 
let it out because that's a lot. That's a lot to go ahead and take in. Like, e- even even individuals that went through like a traumatic moment or remembrance, or even like the aspect of grief, which he does have to process, or individuals would have to process in a scenario like this. You just have to let it out, and you have to be vulnerable with yourself. Not even with the fact that another person is there with you, but with yourself. He's only 15, too. Yeah, like, I'll be honest. I would be crying like a little kid. I'm not sure about you guys. But if I heard my mom say a similar phrase that I would say, like, back to me, and they don't remember me, and it's like Alzheimer's or whatnot, I, I would be broken down. I don't know about you guys, but I would be in fucking tears. And it's one of those tears that has to happen or, like, cries. Genuine, deep, primal emotions that need to happen to start the process of healing. Of- Mimi. Oh, oh, Mimi. Oh, she saw what needed to happen. And she just took action. Oh, Mimi. Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm tearing up here. Mimi. Yeah, Mimi for the rescue. Automatically seeing Gar starting to shake. Just taking that into consideration and taking the steps. Mimi is a huge W, dude. Mimi is the best. Like, as a character and as an, as an individual, she's so caring for Garth. Like, legitimately, she cares so much about him that she saw his, like, nonverbal behavior and took it and just was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> Gorgeous Tiger! <laughs> Dude, I'm tearing up. I'm actually tearing up. That was a beautiful little scene right there, man. That was absolutely beautiful. And must be heartbreaking for Garth to see that mom moved on. Time kept going on without him. Um, like it and or hate it. Time kept pushing on. And at the end of the day, he was not included in anything going forward. That, yeah, that, that, uh, Oh, oh, I wish I was a gorgeous tiger. I wish I was a gorgeous tiger from ReZero. Garfield, the gorgeous tiger has two identities. Yeah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> and then him conceptualizing Elsa to be that form of like, you know, self-bully in a big way, right? Garf conceptualizing Elsa in his mind to be the, the, the factor that completely tears him down, right? Because oftentimes, a lot of, like a lot of times, we conceptualize ourselves, right? And yes, that is trauma, Ricardo. And, th- and that, that is a big factor in that, right? Which is, he clearly, he clearly has not dealt with this completely. So he went ahead and, you know, immortalized in a way Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi is best girl. I don't give a fuck. Mimi is best girl. Mimi is best girl. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can come after me. But seeing how much care and love that Mimi has actually put into this, like, you know, running after Garf, she could have gone home at any moment. At any point in time, she could have gone back and been like, all right, Garf has to deal with this himself. Mr. Garf will be fine. He's strong, whatnot. But yet, but yet she comes after him. Yeah. もし。お二人とも。なんか俺様たちに用があるってんですかよ。妻から話を聞きました。お二人は息子の恩人だそうで。大したことはしてねえよ。俺をさせてください。私に何かできることがあれば。一個だけ聞きてえことがあるんだが
Fuck. He just dropped that bob. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Like, I'm so glad that he's able to be very direct and very upfront about it, but the emoji reactors. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Chat, chat, chat. Pick the best emote reaction. Throw it on there. We're about to be an emoji reaction for a second. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit bro <laughs> that's fucking go <laughs> that's so good now we just need a red yeah a red circle pointed towards it that's so good どうやらあなたには本当のことをお話しすべきのようですねリアラは私と出会った15年前からその以前の記憶がないのです記憶がねえだとあおしい嵐の夜のことでした私は商談の帰り道大きな崖崩れの現場に遭遇したのです妻は
the amount of pain. Poor Garf. Poor Garf. あ、よかった。ゴージャスさんとミミさんも一緒で。お、ディオラトースト。これ、私が作ったソワリエです。味には自信があるんですよ。あ。うわ、えた。ミミ。じゃあ、今度こそ帰るね。And <laughs> Mimi breaks the tension. And Mimi breaks the tension. Mimi does this so well to break the tension and just connect instantly. Yeah, Mimi's the best. I, I'm in love with Mimi. Like, she's literally the fucking best, guys. She literally connects with them. Mimi is, is Garf's girlfriend from now on. Like, she, she read the room instantly and she's like, hey, you know what? This is a lot for you. Let's break the tension that we were able to go from it and, like, you're able to go and start the process for yourself. I hate to do this, but please tell me y'all see the similarities here of, like, at least color, color scheme. Yellow with red. Oh, orange? Yellow with orange. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta see some of the uh, similarities here that they're doing through with the uh... <laughs> gorgeous Mimi for the win. <laughs> gorgeous Mimi and gorgeous tie. I know the mirroring. The mirroring, even with the eye, is beautiful. That's cool. That is so fucking cool that they did that. <laughs> gorgeous Mimi and Gorgeous Tiger. Huh? <laughs> Mimi. Oh, Mimi. Oh. Oh. I'm having a fucking crisis here for Mimi. <laughs> oh. The process of healing, man. Having someone there that helps you start feeling stuff and start being vulnerable. The process of fucking healing. Mimi allows Garf... The opportunity to be fucking vulnerable. And she's there for him. And she fucking cares about him, dude. Uh, we need a Mimi in our lives. Can I be the Mimi in some of your guys' life? Y'all need to find the Mimi in your life. What the fuck? What <laughs> Oh. Oh. We all need someone like Mimi. Dude, this is so fucking cute. And this is destroying me. Like, at the inside. Fucking Mimi's like, that's fine. I'm, you know I love you. That's, uh. Oh. Uh. Mimi keeps collecting these fucking W's so easily. So easily. Wow. 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 Wow.
のよ読むことも許してくれねえのかよ<笑>どうぞ。Imagine being in a scenario like that, and especially if it's a mom or a dad or someone really close that you actually love and care about, and them not fully having memories of you, and you all of a sudden turning into a stranger, and all of a sudden, all the memories that you had, the good memories, the memories of you being a kid and being there with them, or loving them, or you know, so on and so forth, to them, they're gone, and the only person that holds those memories from now on is you. No one else will ever share those memories with that individual other than yourself, because once again, to them, it's just like a fleeting moment. And you are no longer the you that you experienced those memories. Oh, dude. And now it makes it worse by having a brand new family that they don't want to include you in, right? Even with memory loss and even in situations like this, that's such a fundamental portion of grief that it's insane. Let me bring it up. Hold on. Let's talk about this for a second here because that's so fucking powerful. That's such a big moment. Yaru, thanks so much for the sub. Where are they at? Where are they at at the moment, ladies and gentlemen? In this process of grief, because he thought he already had to go through this the very beginning, right? When mom never came back. When, I know, Zero, Zero has no development. Fucking random content creators. Disorganization, confusion, depression, withdrawal, relentlessness, apathy, feeling of unreality, protest. I say y o k o m o t o does great work on submitted males bringing out their vulnerabilities. Right. And, and as it should be. Because that's the thing is, like, everyone, guys, girls, everyone in between, we all have, we all have to be vulnerable. We all have to be fucking vulnerable. And I hate to throw it out this way, guys, but we start the process of healing through vulnerability. Is it terrifying? Yeah. It is fucking terrifying. It's abso- it can absolutely be scary. It can absolutely be terrifying. But if you're not able to be real with yourself and you're not able to start that process of healing, then are you growing? Are you really growing in a healthy manner? Or are you just trying to mask it? And that's the big portion there. Looking at this, I'll be honest, that's a lot of shock that he has to go through. He has to go, he has to re go into this integration model, right? Because all of a sudden, Hey, what you thought you knew isn't real. The loss that you thought you had already gone through, yeah, no. Now you have to go through shock. Now you have to protest it. Now you have to go through disorganization. Now you have to try and find new meaning after the death of this relationship or the life of this relationship again. And you have to either deteriorate and start the process over again to start the process of rediscovery or recover. Luckily, he does have meaning and luckily, he does have support. But hey, I guess if you're some content creators, ReZero has no deep meaning, has no process of like character development, right? And that's what I'm here for, Philippine Big Boar, is, is these, these like conversations, these deep psychological talks of what this show is, is, is showcasing, right? What is, this, what is this show going through? It's going through quite literally everything. Like, not only that, how old is Garf? 15? How old is Garth? 15? Guess what? He's going through multiple stages of developing. Who am I and where am I going? For the past three years, since he was 12, he was probably already tackling this. He was probably already tackling this, right? Hey, who am I and where am I going? For the past three years, 
he's already like, you know, for the past many years, he already established himself without having parents there. Without having parents there, he had already gone on through life, meeting these or trying to meet these milestones without having his parents there. And guess what? Now that he's 15 and he, he's had this occurrence, turns out your safety and security network, yeah, all of that, you have to re-go through the process of grief, even through those milestones. That's, that's heartbreaking, man. That's fucking heartbreaking, Imagine that, man. Imagine going through, learning all the, all of these things, right, without a parent there and being so confused, being so fucking confused at self and at others and at everything because you can't really relate towards, like, the main aspect of whatever the crap it might be. Like, because uh, like, now, you're, now you're processing the grief of not, not only, like, losing your mom, but losing your mom in every milestone and not, or not having parents there for every milestone. And then at the same time, it's, hey, you can never truly connect in that way. That's... He lost his mom twice. Yeah. Yeah, that's the fucked up thing. ガーフ、本当に兄かなくていいの変だ。うん、懐かしい。耳おかあさんとかいないからよくわかりませんな。校長、わかんねえのかそうだよ。三つ子だから育てんの苦労しそうって捨てられたっぽい。耳。おお。
Uh, that that's the main regard and that's why i want to go and highlight it if you guys have a convention that you guys would like me to go out and go do a panel on please let me know let the convention know i'm more than happy to go out and be a part of it and go through and literally I, I love talking about psychology and i love grabbing some good food so if you guys are down for both just let me know and let them know a win would be well deserved oh thank you shastner i appreciate it with that being said ladies and gentlemen let's go right back into it shall we let's go will you go to japan hopefully one day if i'm ever invited I, i'd be more than happy I'd be more than happy. I hope I hope I hope I win too. That'd be sick. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. No. Oh. Can all you worthless meat scraps hear me? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why does she sound like Tanya? Why does she sound like Tanya? <laughs> oh, it's the same voice actress. <laughs> Bro, I was like, why why does why is that reminding me of Tanya doing the whole thing? Mao Mao too. She tempered the sound. Same as Mao Mao. Capella Mirada Lugunica. Wait, 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 Lugunica. Isn't that the name of the country? Wait, isn't that the name of the country? Where the fuck does she. Oh. Oh. Is she royal family? How many people actually got that? I actually wonder how many fucking people out there, because this, this has been out for a couple of days. How many people actually got that? Is she a part of the royal family in some way, shape, or form? Not at a lot. No one I've seen. Well, good. I'm glad for almost no one. That's wild. Capella. So, Capella University, Emirata, okay, Laguni Kachansama. <laughs> the last name is cool would be royal i've seen two minority of anime only but only reactors that pay attention right right she's an idol well she's an idol sama Get on your knees, grovel, saw yourself, then cry out like little sad little wretches before me. Ah. The light novel states that she smells awful. Really? What does she smell like? That's wild. That's wild. I'd grovel, soil, and cry. <laughs> So this is a planned attack. This entire aspect of having everyone in here is fucking wild in of itself, right? Uh, it, that's wild in of herself, but also... Her, the way that she's even going through this, does she clash with Regulus a lot? Because Regulus usually loves to be very descriptive in the way that he monologues. And seeing the way that she's monologuing, I have a feeling that like her and probably Sirius or Regulus, like all three of them probably don't get along in that way, right? Honestly, I just, I wasn't expecting the voice. That's so good. I'll be honest. The, vo the voice is something altogether. Don't they all hate each other? None, none seem to get along. And I, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because they each have a sin so into it that they're, uh, it overpowers pretty much everything else. A confrontation between the three would be the, the greatest yap fest ever. She smells awful and people are still thirsty. Shake my head. Well, I would say, would you guys follow these things if your life was in danger? Get on your knees, grovel, soil yourself, and cry out like sad little wretches before me. <laughs> Oh. 
お目覚めたみてえじゃんか兄弟あるおうよ一遍見りゃ忘れられねえあるさんよ<笑>また七面倒くせえ状況だな兄弟<笑>エミリアエミリアとベアトリスはお姉ちゃんの方は知らねえが兄弟の相方の養女ならあっちに寝かせてやるね<笑>ペアコペアコでよかった本当に<笑> I was chill as fuck though He's like hey brother what's up It's your reactor's favorite reactor You know <laughs> I'm your favorite reactor's favorite reactor You know Once you meet me you'll never forget me <laughs> And it's all the best boys All in one place That's so fucking good Al is the best, bro. Al is wonderful. Like, just showing up in that way. But that, that can absolutely be terrifying. Individuals that can inject themselves in this way, right? Al is pogging behind the masters. <laughs> But individuals that can, that can inject themselves in this way can have, often be some of the scariest individuals because they have a lot of information that they can garner and use against you, right? So, best not to make Al an enemy. I think. I'm going to get to the house. あのチビが涙目で呼ぶもんだからついてったら広場が血で真っ赤っかだったルスベル兄弟と同じ怪我したやつらがゴロゴロ転がってるのをその幼女が血魔法で何とかしててよ、oh, shit. 大したもんだぜ That's incredible man So Beoko went on a full on healing range Like Beoko MVP with this Cause even though Subaru Subaru has a limited、uh, mana pool right And she still managed to go ahead and pull this off. Beoko's a fucking MVP overall. Rip the tracksuit. Beatrice, are you okay? I don't know if I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of this. Right. But Subaru has no growth, right? But Subaru has no growth, right? Subaru is fucking beautiful in the way that, like, you know, previous, previous attempts, he would just head out of there and immediately try and go and save and be the hero and whatnot. Now he's listening. Now he's talking. Now he's talking.、Uh, now he's, like, actually communicating. <laughs> ちなみに俺はちゃんと礼が欲しくてやったことだね。上にクルス様たちが集まってる。エミリア様を助けたいなら、スバルキュンも話し合いに参加して。おまいガール。魔女教対策本部っつうとこだな。けど、なんでミューズ紹介なんだここを仕切ってるキリタカさんがプリステラの住人会。都市で一番偉い住人の一人やって理由やね。あのキリタカがマジでキリタカ様は立派な方ですよ、right. 今は避難指示の手配で手が離せないそうですそれで町の状況はその前にこちらからも質問をスバル様が遭遇したのは魔女教の滞在司教に間違いありませんか It wasn't just one It wasn't just one It wasn't just a sin archbishop <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh shit, brother. Oh. Oh, shit, brother. Oh, shit, brother. Oh, shit, brother. 
それに加えて4つの制御塔が奪われたことは間違いないようです塔のてっぺんには魔女教の紋章の書かれた旗が掲げられていますもし水門が解放されればプリステラの町は一瞬のうちに水没してしまうでしょう放送は突然でした声の主は色欲の滞在死去色欲フンドでも強欲でもなくはいその人物はカペラエメラダルグニカと名乗りプリステラは自分たち魔女教の手に落ちたと告げました、well, fuck. 3人目の滞在死去町の人たちに混乱はもともと水彩に備えた危機管理が行き届いていたおかげで混乱は驚くほど抑えられています、sure. 住民はそれぞれ避難所にやつら何がしてんだ But in a situation like this, this is where it gets fucking terrifying. You have limited personnel and you have forced in archbishops, right? So then you have gluttony taking care of one,、uh, wrath taking care of one, greed taking care of one, lust taking care of one. How do you divide up the current workforce to be able to either sustain, reinforce, or take care of one of these archbishops? Where, yeah, who's Otto? Where's Otto? So that's the main regard is you have four different quadrants that you need to jump on and take care of. Give them all to Reinhardt. But here's the thing, Luster Candy. Even with Reinhardt, if you send Reinhardt and Sirius already has control, uses that same、uh, media, controls the entire city, is Reinhardt going to be okay? Yeah, he might be able to deal with Sirius, but then you just eliminated the entire city in of itself. If she's able to go ahead and do an AoE on the entire city, we're kind of fucked. Right? Right? Income, so, would you leave it up to her? I think we already have matchups in here that make sense. Right? We already have matchups in here that, that make sense. So, for example, we can probably put in together、um, probably Crush Sama, use Priscilla,、uh, use some of the mercenaries along with the、uh, singer girl to go up against Sirius. AoE versus AoE. We have Greed Sama to go up against. I would fucking throw Al, fucking Reinhardt if possible. Maybe Subaru because it's gonna deal with Emilia. But then you also have、uh, the Lust,、uh, Lust Sama there. So you put Garfield, you put, I don't know, fucking Wilhelm and some others to go out there and try and deal with, with, with Lust Sama. You have Gluttony though. Who do you send up against Gluttony? Right? Felt? Others get the revenge. They don't even know about gluttony just yet. But who would you put up against gluttony? That's the mentality to have because at the moment, this is turning out really fucking bad. Ricardo? Otto? <laughs> like, this is turning really, 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 really bad. My God. What a fucking episode. What a way to hype this up. <laughs> Wait, G give me the witch's names. I'm sure you guys remember. Give me the witch's names. Because Satala's already sealed somewhere, right? Give me the witch's names. Echidna? We know it's not Echidna. Typhon? Daphne? Minerva? Segment? Camilla? Hey, Camilla. Yo, witch? Hey, yo. Hey, can I get some powers, Camilla? <laughs> Cabby, please. I swear, Cabby, I know you're in chat. Hold on, let me, let me, let me go. No? 
Cammy, but I can become an archbishop for you. It would be wonderful. <laughs> Guys, go follow Camilla as well. <laughs> We're doing a partner push. So what about Typhoon, right? Because this is a city of water. Typhoon like Typhoon in a city surrounded by water. Wouldn't that make sense in terms of naming scheme? But is, is, isn't Typhoon the one that's related to the, the Witch of Pride? I mean, that would all make sense if you combine it together, right? Typhoon? Yeah. Typhoon, Typhoon. You guys know the answers. I don't. You guys know the answers. I, I don't. Typhoon is a Witch of Pride. Typhoon? Right. Her name is Camilla, like the Vamp Queen. Season 2, I couldn't say how each witch died. Well, I guess we need to go to Season 2. It's Pandora for sure. I think Pandora is still out there. No fucking way. No fucking way. Hector was was dubbed the Warlock of Melancholy, not the Witch. Mm. There's also currently no Archbishop of Pride. Here we go. Oh, no. Not only did you lose your previous children, you just lost them again? Mom, we, we, we gotta get you some fucking leashes for these kids. You, you Not only did you lose the children from 15 years ago, you now lost them again? Like, uh, come on. <laughs> we need some fucking micro... What are the odds? What? <laughs> あの Oh shit, brother. Oh shit. Gorgeous tiger holding on to the crystal. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. It's fucking time. Wow. This is gonna be fucking hype, isn't it? How many okay, how many episodes is fucking core one? How many episodes is core one, ladies and gentlemen? How many fucking episodes is core eight? Eight? We're five oh oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. The, the, this is fucking flying by. This is fucking flying by, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, we gotta listen to the ending here. We gotta listen to the ending, but this is fucking flying by. We're already three in, guys. Five more to go, and then it's a little break time. No ending. No ending, no ending. Fuck. Fuck. Fantastic episode. Fantastic fucking episode, ladies and gentlemen. And what a way, legitimately, what a way to bring everything in together and even keep raising the stakes, right? And it's not just, oh, here's the archbishop of this or of that. It's, hey, there's some very clear fucking issues here that need to be taken care of. And we're going to keep raising it up. Oh, guess what? Everyone has trauma. Oh, and guess what? Everyone has some major issues that they need to take care of. Producer to allow endings while the context is being in the shop. ReZero is allergic to openings and endings. So what would you rate this episode now? I would. I think the Garf scenes were amazing. The Garf scenes were an easy 10 out of 10. Um, I really like the way that this is heading up and the way that they're raising the skills. This was a nice 9 out of 10 for me. This was an easy, easy 9 out of 10 for me. That was a really, really good episode. Phenomenal way that it's pushing it forward. And it's getting us all invested in all of these characters, right? And also Subaru didn't die. It's getting us invested in all of these characters pushing forward. And that's what it should do, right? That's exactly what it should do. It should invest us in these characters going forward and build up the premise as to what's to come. No, not better than... So. Episode 2 was something else. But this was like... The guard scenes were fucking phenomenal. But the episode in of itself is pushing up. And I'm guessing that the, that the action scenes are going to be like this coming up soon, right? Basado, Subaru living in joy. I feel like he kind of wished he died. No, 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 no. I, I actually didn't wish he died. I, I'm glad that he... Oh, oh that Subaru wished he died? Because I, I, I don't wish that Subaru died. I kind of like the fact that he's, like, living through it, right? 
that he it's not just death death restart death restart it's like hey you have to live with the consequences of some of the shit that's going on that's great every episode can't be episode two or anime would actually would be wouldn't wouldn't actually be that good in my opinion even if i love the episode too you can feel it setting up like a yeah like it's like a tsunami is about to in, be incoming that's what's amazing about it ladies and gentlemen what would you guys rate this episode for me overall really good character progression really amazing to see everyone starting to come together and work together to break like to bring down like the the witch's cult it's obvious that it's something that needs to happen it's obvious um it's obvious that it's important to go through it and see the level of depth that this is going in through, right? That this is coming into the, the, the amazingness of everything. I love Garfield, so 11 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I had a hard time rating this episode, but your 9 out of 10 seems seems fair. It's a 9 out of 10 for me, but it's not even a, like a low 9 out of 10. It's, it's, it's either mid to high 9 out of 10 because it's really, really good. And this is just a setup episode. You guys have to remember, like in, in writing, what you do whenever you write an arc you got to have it start building up, right? And this is building up. So the like we're not even at the climax yet. So if it's already hitting a 9 out of 10, are we going to break this fucking scale? That is a question that I have. Are we going to break this fucking scale, ladies and gentlemen? If we're already starting to write all the way up, ladies and gentlemen. Great episode, but I wish they included internal dialogue during Garf's crying scene. Oh, I'm sure that there was a lot in it. I'm sure that, that, that there was a lot in it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for coming out to the Raise Hero stream. I really sincerely appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys took something away from it as much as I did. It's over three hours worth of analysis, worth of conversation since stream started. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for coming out. There's so much to go ahead and analyze and take in. As always, you guys are amazing. Thank you, YouTube. Practice some self-care from the bottom. Please do. Take care of yourself. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Share it with others that might want it. I appreciate it.